assalamu alaikum everyone uh, dear student i hope you are fine and doing well uh, today our lecture is uh, about four fundamental spaces of linear algebra dear student these four fundamental spaces of linear algebra plays an important role in other concept of linear algebra i mean to say these concept are utilized in inner product spaces and then orthogonal uh, basis then other things like singular value decompositions uh, uh, and a singular uh, if i can uh, give you the practical uh, application of uh, singular decomposition method which is again based on some fundamental uh, vector spaces uh, are basically uh, why the four fundamental spaces are quite important because these concepts are utilized in uh, in uh, while you are uh, constructing uh, basically uh, singular value decomposition and diagonalization so here you also need these uh, fundamental spaces row space column space null space and then left uh, kernel uh, null space and these are uh, quite important because uh, uh, if you can see uh, uh, if you want to uh, dear student uh, uh, you uh, know uh, about uh, social media like facebook any uh, twitter and any other uh, uh, social media uh, these are uh, social uh, media uh, basically save your digital contents like images audio videos in a compressed form in order to save uh, some space uh, so dear student uh, do you ever think uh, what kind of algebra that uh, hiddenly that these uh, social media utilize in order to save your digital uh, medium in a compressed form these are yes these are singular value decompositions i mean to say these are the again based on fundamental spaces of linear algebra so today topic is quite important and uh, uh, in inshallah i will uh, give you some demonstration regarding this how you can compress your digital images uh, by using linear algebraic concepts or um, uh, singular value decompositions so dear student um, please be attentive because these concepts are quite important so uh, all these uh, uh, this is uh, fundamentally the uh, the uh, crux of your uh, uh, chapter which we have start from vector spaces and then subspaces then we deal with the uh, linearly spanning set then linearly independent then for um, bases and dimensions then we uh, add some uh, thing related to linear transformation and then uh, we uh, add some application of linear transformation and today we are dealing fundamental spaces of linear algebra so dear student uh, let us come up with uh, some definitions and then we will uh, um, you know, put some pictures uh, uh, with the help of pictures we will uh, pictorial diagram we will understand what are these four fundamental spaces of linear algebra and how they are connected uh, uh, the other uh, things can be connected uh, or the, how these four uh, fundamental spaces can be linked with each other so dear student please be pay attention so uh, let us come up with the uh, first uh, let us define uh, kernel of uh, 
transformation or kernel or null space and uh, range of transformation or column space. A kernel I mean to say null space and range I mean to say column space of a linear transformation. Dear student, uh, before defining kernel of a transformation, uh, let us think about uh, kernel. Uh, what does kernel of transformation means? Dear student, uh, if you have two sets like A and B, if you have some, some operation that when you operate on some element of set A and that map all those element, non-zero element, on some zero element of set B, then that, that transformation fundamentally means to say the transformation is kernel of transformation. Let us formally define the kernel of transformation. Let T be the transformation from V to W be a linear transformation. Then the set of all vectors V, set of all vectors in V, that satisfy t of v equal to zero is called the kernel of transformation and it is denoted by a curl of t that is kernel of transformation i mean null space of t for all u belongs to v such that t of u equal to zero i mean to say all u that belongs to v domain of this transformation this is domain and this is codomain. So, kernel of transformation, we call it this as a kernel of transformation. And the number of elements is kernel of transformation is called nullity of T. Means to say, um, um, a, if I can define, uh, here I just give you the generally, general definition from V to W. So if uh, I utilize some matrices, so I just treat the transformation from Rn to Rm. So I mean, so this is the n-dimensional vector space, our real number, and this is the m-dimensional space, our real number. Means to say, the, the, each and every element of this domain is n class one column vector, and the, here the the codomain element of codomain are the vector of uh, order m class one. So the, uh, if you can, uh, what are the matrix for this uh, transformation? You can easily judge. The order of matrix will be M cross N. As we have discussed a lot about uh, uh, matrix or transformation in our previous uh, class, uh, as well as in, uh, in our uh, classes uh, before this uh, pandemic uh, emer uh, emergency situation. We have discussed a lot about uh, uh, matrix of transformation in our classes, uh, usual interactive classes uh, before this uh, uh, pandemic situation. So uh, don't you worry. If you even don't uh, want to discuss, we can also discuss all these uh, matrix of transformation. So uh, come up with uh, the idea uh, that this is a, a kernel of transformation. Let us discuss this with the help of some pictorial diagram. Say, dear student, one-to-one uh, um, uh, -one transformation and kernel. Uh, what are the relation of one-to-one -one transformation with kernel? So, uh, if you can realize this, uh, if you have set A and set B, it has uh, four elements and set B has also four elements. So, uh, each domain element has some uh, uh, mapping, uh, corresponding uh, uh, element in uh, set B. In that case, we can say this function is one to one. So if you can see over here in this second example, the each element of set A has image in set B, but the second element has no uh, pre-image in set A. So in that case, the uh, every element of uh, uh, set A has some uh, images in set, uh, set A, but this element has no, uh, what you call the, some mapping from set A. So in that case, this is not one-to-one -one transformation for, but in this case, dear student, this is a one-to-one -one transformation. 
So uh, I, I say one-to-one -one functions. Uh, when we are saying transformation, so it's a bit, uh, sometimes it's, uh, you can use uh, uh, in that case transformation, but uh, generally if you can talk about uh, linear transformation, so uh, dear student, uh, uh, some uh, in um, some uh, uh, sometime who used uh, uh, transformation mainly for uh, vector spaces. So if I can say t t is a transformation, so there uh, uh, this set will not be a just say one set. It must be an n-dimensional vector space. I mean to say R n to R n. So whenever we are usually uh, use transformation, so the, it must be from n-dimensional vector space to m-dimensional vector space. So um, uh, you can use the even function for it. So, uh, for, but uh, it will be a good if you can use tra transformation explicitly for uh, m-dimensional m vector space. So here f is a just a function, one-to-one -one function, if, the, if a map into the same element of its codomain. So in that case, this is one to one, but in this second case, this is not one to one. So dear student, uh, if you can, uh, uh, then what are the transformations? So uh, uh, whether or not trans linear transformation is one to one or not, it depends upon the kernel of transformation. If the kernel of transformation, like let us define with the pictorial diagram, as we have this defined the kernel of transformation in our slide number two, the algebraic definition we just put uh, in, on slide number two, just uh, the student, uh, the algebraic definition, but here we just geometrically interpret what does kernel means. So kernel of transformation, if I can say it is a transformation from Rn to Rn, this is a n-dimensional vector space, and this is a m dimensional vector space that basically map rn to rm so uh, every uh, t is a is a, is, a, is a kernel if that map every element of uh, this uh, basically that map some set of vector in this map into zero vector in rn like this is a some this whole is a rn this whole domain is Rn. So there are some vectors, some element of this set that map on zero element of Rn. In that case, all these elements which are map on the zero, so these are basically kernel of transformation. And kernel of transformation, dear student, the subset of Rn domain. I mean to say the kernel of transformation is subspace of domain Rn. So this is a uh, kernel of transformation is many to one transformation. There are number of elements that all are map on zero. In that case, dear student, kernel of transformation is not one to one. It will be one to one if the zero element of this is map upon zero element of Rm. So linear transformation from Rn to Rm is one to one if and only if kernel contain only the zero vector. I mean to say it contain only zero. If it contain only zero then a kernel of transformation will be a, I mean to say this transformation will be one to one. Otherwise uh, it is not always possible that kernel of transformation is always zero it may be non-zero. So dear student, uh, the, uh, the kernel of transformation is fundamentally all those elements of Rn that basically when you apply on T on these element that map all these element on zero element of Rn. So let us take one example. Uh, you have some projection as we have discussed in our previous uh, uh, lecture. So this is just a projection of uh, uh, a point in space into a x, y, x, y plane. 
So this uh, basically uh, the kernel of transformation is zero zero z. Uh, dear student, uh, uh, I mean to say, if I can put this equal to zero, I mean to say, um, uh, say you have um, a matrix of transformation for this uh, projection is like uh, if you can see if i can just uh, give you some uh, like demonstration uh, like uh, if you know like uh, so uh, dear student uh, if you can look over here so the transformation, uh, sorry, this is a transformation like, uh, uh, so T is a transformation. So T is a transfer. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, let me tell you, uh, if you can see this, uh, t of x comma y is equal to x comma y. So uh, the uh, matrix uh, from, uh, uh, let me tell you, so, uh, let me tell you one thing. Uh, dear student, if you can see the matrix in this case uh, of projection, it is one comma zero. That is uh, T of X equal to A into X. Then uh, from here, you can see uh, the it is a transformation from R3 to R3. So the order of matrix will be 3 by 3. So X is consists of 3 class 1. It means to say X, Y, Z. So if I can just put uh, in place of uh, X, I just put X, comma, Y, comma, Z. So I mean to say A is of order uh, like if you can look over here so then the a will be of uh, three by a mm. let me tell you one thing Mm. 
Let me tell you. Hmm. Yes, student. Let me tell you. So we have. Let's say you have a, a T of X. equal to a into x so t is a transformation from r3 to r3 so uh, i may so say the input is consists of three uh, 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 three element x y y comma z or it can be written as uh, since it is r3 so the element or can be written as uh, 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 like yes, student. If you can uh, allow me, so I can give you the full demonstration. So these are uh, x, x, then y, then z. Oh, sorry, z. So uh, if you can look over here, so let me tell you, it is uh, a three by three matrix. A one. If you can. Uh, go back to your previous lecture the matrix of transformation in x y uh, projection on x y plane it consists of that kind of matrix of transformation like this one and then this one so yes student i just t is uh, X is consists of three class one column vector because the transformation is from R3 to R3. So I just take three by three matrix of uh, X Y projection, which we have discussed in our previous lecture. So uh, if you go, uh, if I can multiply uh, this with X and then Y and then Z. So uh, dear student, uh, Transformation, I mean to say, kernel of transformation, I mean to say, t of uh, t of x equal to zero. Uh, I mean to say, when t of x equal to zero, I mean to say, this whole uh, thing is uh, equal to zero, uh, equal to uh, zero. Then, uh, if you can look over here, so. Uh, I mean to say this is equal to zero. In other words, I can say a into x equal to zero. In uh, t of x is equal to zero, and t of x is you know what a into x, and a into x is this one. So in that way, you have to solve a homogeneous system of equation uh, for x, y, z. If you uh, dear student, if you can look over here, if uh, you can solve this with the help of, uh, say, uh, some uh, augmented matrix. So in that case, uh, if you can put uh, some augmented matrix position, like uh, this has some zero, then it is, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, if I can put uh, some augmented matrix mutation, so so let me tell you uh, it is uh, three or four kind. okay so if you can look over here so yeah, i don't need this one i just need uh, uh, three rows and four columns so I just go there and three rows and uh, okay. This is three rows and uh, four columns. So this student I just use this. So this is not just zero. This uh, three zero. So I just take one, then zero, then zero. I'm just using uh, uh, that. I just transform this into an augmented matrix, and this is zero and this is again zero this is one this is zero and uh, this is again zero uh, oh sorry this is 
zero, and then this one is again zero, and this one is zero. Sorry, sorry, uh, zero, and then this is zero. Then again, this is zero, and this is zero. Uh, if you can see over here, dear student, uh, uh, this uh, last row has a free variable. So x and y are zero. In that case, x, if you can compare x, the first element with, with the homogeneous system, this is x is zero, y is also zero. But this is uh, uh, here, the forward position has uh, zero in that uh, third column, the third forward is zero. In that case, dear student, uh, there will be a, some free variable. So uh, um, in that case, if you can look over here, uh, the x, y, z, the, uh, so the uh, uh, kernel of transformation is zero, zero, and because x and y are zero, so z is some free variable, and which belongs to real number. In that case, uh, uh, you can see the kernel of transformation for the proje projection on x, y plane is zero, zero, c. So uh, I have just explained this with the help of uh, a very fine example. So uh, in a quite explained way. So uh, dear student, uh, let us come up with uh, another uh, example, how to find the kernel of transformation for the transformation from R2 to R3 that is given by this uh, uh, matrix. So if you can look over here, the domain consists of two elements but uh, the range is consists of three tuples. So uh, I miss the kernel of transformation. If you can put this equal to zero. So if you solve this, uh, uh, compare this with uh, uh, X component with X component and Y component with Y and then Z component with Z. So ultimately you will get X1, X2 equal to zero. In that case, the kernel of transformation is zero, zero. So, dear student, uh, the kernel of transformation zero zero means to say this element is uh, basically map on the zero element of the range. In that case, if we go back to your previous slide, this transformation is one to one if and only if the kernel is consists of only zero vector. So, in that case, this transformation is one to one transformation. This is one to one and the kernel is consists of only zero element. So let us take another example, how to find out the kernel of transformation for the matrix AX equal to zero. So dear student, uh, whenever we are saying that we have to find the kernel of transformation, I mean to say we have to solve the homogeneous system of equations. So you have a, a transformation from R3 to R3. In, in that case, the matrix uh, is of the order two cross three. So you have to find out the uh, uh, kernel of transformation, which is the basically sub subspace of R3. The uh, kernel is always the uh, subspace of domain, and the domain here in this transformation is R3. So X, Y, Z are belongs to R3. So we have to find uh, the x, y, z size that the it gives you the zero zero of uh, codomain. So you have to solve a x equal to zero because the transformation here is t of x is equal to a into x. So if transformation is zero, it means to say a x is equal to zero. So I put a x equal to zero and then solve this. Uh, and x is from uh, domain, so domain consists of three element because it is R3, so R3 consists of three tuples, X, X1, X2, and X3, and the range is uh, R2, so the zero is zero, the uh, zero uh, vector in this R2 is zero, zero. So uh, I just solved this and I have only one free variable, and just here you can see over here, the kernel of transformation is just this uh, column vector, and I just place it over here. So I can say in that case, uh, this is kernel of transformation, which is non-zero. Um, the student uh, from previous server uh, will just get zero, zero as a kernel of transformation, but here we have get uh, 
the non-zero element. In that case, the kernel of transformation, uh, I mean to say this transformation is not one to one. So if the kernel of transformation is zero a vector of domain, so in that case, the transformation will be one to one. So let us come up with an, as, uh, another example. So uh, as I told you, the kernel of transformation is a subspace of uh, uh, domain v if t is a transformation from v to w so the kernel of transformation in all this subspace uh, subspace of domain it, it is subset of uh, domain v so uh, i don't uh, go into the uh, proof of this uh, uh, theorem so uh, let us uh, find out the uh, basis for kernel uh, of the transformation like uh, if you have a transformation from R5 to R4, that is defined by T of X is equal to A into X, where X is in R5. So I have to find out the basis for kernel, kernel of transformation as a subspace of R5. I mean to say I have to calculate just kernel of transformation. So kernel of transformation, I mean to say I have to solve the homogeneous system of equation a x equal to zero and find out all these uh, uh, values of x that make this transformation uh, zero so uh, if you can see uh, this augmented matrix a zero i means to say i just put this equal to zero a x equal to zero and that's, then i just solve uh, uh, apply uh, gauss jordan elimination and uh, here you can see we have this uh, free variable over here and then we have another free variable in this uh, 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 row so in this column and in this column we have free variable so here you can see if i can just uh, uh, write it in the form of x1 x2 x3 up to x5 because the input is uh, from r5 so the element of r5 can be written as a 5 plus 1 column vector. So here you can see uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So uh, third uh, column and uh, uh, the student and uh, uh, sorry, third column and fifth column uh, uh, is, consists of uh, uh, free variable. Or you can see the third row and uh, uh, like uh, uh, third column and fifth uh, co column consists of free variable in that case then uh, rest you can see the first uh, row is consist of pivot column and this uh, second row is also consist of pivot column and the this uh, here you can see x3 is a free variable and this uh, x4 is uh, pivot uh, con uh, contain the pivot position so in x5 is also a free variable in case in here the there is no covid uh, uh, leading uh, ones in this uh, uh, row so in that case the student we have uh, fundamentally uh, uh, three uh, two free variable and uh, three pivot position and uh, if we can realize this uh, whenever we are saying uh, uh, Pivot position. I uh, in that case we are saying the rank of a transformation, and whenever we are saying the free variable, it means we are talking about kernel of transformation. And here you can see uh, this uh, column and this column has uh, what you call the uh, uh, you can say this uh, like. Uh, if you can just uh, write uh, over here in this uh, linear combination form, then you can separate a uh, free variable and uh, return this these element in the form of uh, S and T. So these are two basically column vectors, and we can say these are the basis for kernel of transformation. So if we can put any arbitrary element like one, two and uh, multiply it with uh, a so all the time you will get uh, uh, zero uh, zero of uh, r4 
phi mu. So say if we can multiply this uh, vector or this vector or there any linear combination with this matrix A, then it will always give you the zero. Uh, uh, it means these are basically nullifying your transformation. So in that case, the student minus two one one zero zero and one two zero minus four and one is basis for kernel of transformation. Dear student, if you can look over here, you, you have to calculate the kernel of uh, transformation and kernel is always subspace of R5. So here you can see the basis of kernel of transformation is consists of five cross one column vector. If you can uh, write it in form of column, so it is always can be written as a five cross column vector. And this is again five cross column, uh, five cross one column vector. So in uh, so one can say these are just the kernel of uh, kernel of uh, transformation. These element which is uh, containing uh, contain in uh, this uh, set B. So uh, whenever uh, uh, we are saying the solution space of a kernel of transformation, we just uh, uh, have to solve whenever you uh, find the basis for the kernel of linear transformation t of x is equal to a into x we just have to find out the solution of a x equal to zero and this is nothing this is just equivalent to solving the homogeneous system of equation so if you find some non-zero element uh, or uh, x that make this uh, basically this transformation equal to zero for that all these elements are called uh, called kernel of transformation so dear student uh, row vector and column vector so if you have a transformation from rn to rn so matrix corresponding to this transformation is is of order m class n and these are just row vectors like this one and if you can see over here, and these are just column vectors, uh, if you can see over here, so these are uh, column vectors, this one, and these are just uh, one cross uh, and uh, row vector. So dear student, uh, another concept which is quite important um, is onto linear transformation. A function A to B is onto if every element in its codomain B has some element of its domain A that map onto it. Let us say, dear student, every element of uh, say codomain has some uh, element of its domain A that map on it. Means to say, here you can see every element of codomain has some uh, Im pre images in set A. In that case, this is onto. If you can look over here, so this point uh, has no pre image in set A. In that case, this is not onto map. So in that case, every element of codomain has some uh, correspondence with the uh, 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 set in A. In that case, we can say this is onto transformation, but for that, we have we can say this is not onto transformation. So, same is the case with the uh, if it, I can say the range of a transformation, or I can say column space of a transformation, these are same. But let us define the range or image of a linear transformation from. Rn to Rn is a set of factors in its codomain. Set of factors in its codomain. This is not, it may be whole codomain. It may be whole codomain, but this is a subspace of Rm. This is uh, the whole vector. This one is uh, Rm, but this is one subset of Rn. The range is always subspace of Rn. So if you can say uh, the set of vector in its codomain rm which are transforms of some vector in its domain rm so you can see 
uh, range is a transformation uh, that correspond to co-domain. Uh, basically, it is the you can say this uh, range of transformation is all those vector in set codomain that give you some uh, element of uh, when you map on some element of uh, like uh, domain and it give you some element of uh, codomain uh, then we can see all these elements that are subspace of codomain is called range of transformation and range of transformation basically the linear transformation is on to when the its range is equal to whole codomain i mean to say when the range whole range is equivalent to the whole codomain this is a range is a subset if the range is whole the range is equivalent to this codomain the bigger set and in that case the uh, linear transformation from uh, rn to rn is on to the student uh, I can say uh, with some, uh, uh, let us define algebraic definition of uh, range of a transformation uh, or column space of a transformation. Uh, the set of all vectors in W that is in this codomain that are images under T of at least one vector in V. I mean to say all vectors. Uh, in W has some at least one vector in W that if you um, uh, apply T on V and you get some W in that case the this is called the range of a transformation. So range of transfer in kernel who need domain elements but in uh, range we need element of codomain that is output we need this and we count this uh, element in range instead of uh, uh, element of domain. So corresponding to uh, every element of uh, like domain, you have some other uh, element of co-domain. So in that case, the element that give you some images of V uh, under T give you some images of uh, codomain under T when you apply T on uh, element of domain it gives you some element of codomain in that case all these elements are belonging in column space of T or range of a uh, transformation T. So dear student if A is an M cross N matrix I mean to say if T is a transformation from Rn to Rn in that case subspace of Rn spanned by the row vectors of A is called the row space of A. If A is M cross N uh, matrix like this, then the subspace of Rn spanned by column vectors of A is called column space of A. Yes, student, what does it mean? If you can see over here, this is a transformation from Rn to R m cross n i mean to say this is a transformation from r n to r m so r n basically uh, it has uh, m rows and n columns so the it means to say the column uh, row vectors of a is the row space of A is fundamentally the uh, subspace of Rn. Uh, I mean to say, uh, if you can see the transformation, this one, this is a transfer from Rn to Rn. In that case, the uh, order of transformation is M plus N. And uh, if you can look over here, so the order of transformation uh, uh, matrix is M plus N. So the, if you have say uh, uh, M rows and N column, so the rows are the basically the sub subspace of a domain and the column which are consist of N, uh, N columns 
of the matrix is a column space of uh, R M uh, code only. So uh, row space and column space have equal dimension. If A is M cross N matrix, then the row space and column space have of A has same dimension. So dimension uh, of row and column space of a matrix is called rank of A, and it is denoted by uh, rank of A like here in this red. So dear student, uh, dimension I need to say number of non-zero COVID position in Eklen or reduced Eklen form that basically give you the row space uh, all those uh, uh, rows which has uh, uh, which have uh, uh, some COVID position so in uh, these are the dimensions number of rows that uh, con uh, consists of COVID position in Eklan or reduced Eklan form is called dimension of row or the number of column that consists of uh, uh, basically the COVID position is called the column space of a matrix uh, a, and we call it uh, a rank of a a or rank of a transformation so if you can look over here in this example so if i can reduce this in the uh, eklan form so here you can see the rank of a is three so in that case it has three forward positions like this row is forward row this is again COVID row due to this one, and this is again COVID row. So this is again COVID column, and this is again, this consists of uh, uh, COVID. So this is again COVID column, and this is again COVID column. So in that case, the student, if you can see the, uh, uh, it is consist of uh, uh, a rank of uh, the transformation or rank of matrix A is three and column space and row space is consist of uh, fundamentally if uh, uh, consist of uh, year student uh, three rows and three columns uh, this is a poet this is again poet and this is again poet column it has three poet column as well as three uh, poet rows so the dimension of row space is three and dimension of column space is again three and the rank of a is again three uh, Dear student, uh, let us uh, take another example. Uh, let us uh, geometrically interpret uh, uh, what does uh, I mean to say. Range of transformation uh, is consists uh, fundamentally the transformation T is a transformation from V to W is a subspace of codomain W. Range of transformation is T of V, that is W, V is in V, and kernel of transformation is a subspace of a V. And this is kernel of transformation. This is the whole V is a domain, T is a transformation from V to W. And this, uh, uh, this is a fundamentally the uh, range, uh, and this is whole uh, codomain and the kernel of transformation is subspace so is one part of your domain so this is range this this element see this this uh, circle is your range of transformation which is again the subspace of this whole code main w so these are just uh, so uh, dear student uh, this geometrical uh, basically the pictorial diagram tell us the four fundamental spaces of linear algebra. What are these four fundamental spaces? One is column space, which is again subspace of domain Rn. Null space, which is again, this is with arrow Ax equal to zero, and that is map on zero of Rn. So the student, this is null space. This, this is again subspace of Rn. If the dimension of row space is R and dimension of null space is n minus R, if you can add up both, so how uh, uh, the total dimension is n. 
if you can look over here the dimension of uh, column space as i told you in previous slides that uh, dimension of row space and dimension of column space is always equal so the dimension of this column space is again r the left null space d equal to m minus r in that case if you can add the dimension of column space and dimension of left null space then you will get m and which is the total dimension of this codomain rn so dear student if you can look over here the row space is transformation for row space is ax equal to b we have to find all x for which the system is consistent all x and x is the element of this rn and we have to calculate r all y that is transformation from codomain to domain that gives some element c of the domain for if i can transform the uh, some transformation from rn to rm so i get matrix a a if i go back from rn to r n in that case i must take a transpose basically that a transpose uh, uh, change interchange the row into column and column into row in that case you uh, if you take transformation from rn to rn so here you can apply transpose of uh, matrix a on the uh, element of rn the element of r m r y y and it give you the element of uh, domain so dear student same is the case uh, if you can apply a uh, the null space is uh, uh, all those element of domain when you apply some transformation like a on this domain and it give you uh, zero it means all those element which make this system homogeneous and map on the zero element of uh, co domain so these are uh, these x are uh, basically this uh, null space consist of all those x which made this system uh, map on this zero so ultimately left null space i means to say if i can apply a transpose on this uh, output element y and it give me the zero element of dom domain in that case we can say this is a left null space so dear student these are fundamentally four spaces of linear algebra which are quite important so in uh, hopefully in our uh, next class uh, we will uh, i will explain um, uh, more about these uh, spaces uh, so till then uh, uh, allah fez and keep uh, uh, i just uh, explain this concept today uh, you have just to uh, uh, understand this concept uh, i will uh, add another lecture for you to uh, understand this concept with the help of some examples so uh, stay at home uh, then uh, may allah uh, bless you all and allah peace